Good morning, everyone. She's here again, look. She is keen to get out of her mother's way. <laughs> no, she's up, she's out, she's fishing. I'm up, out and fishing. And as I said on my short, and as I said on Facebook, we're at Sutton on Sea. Fishing in front of, over low, from low back. Fishing in front of the beach huts. Now, in case you can't hear, it is very windy. So fishing is going to be very, very difficult. Having the camera out is going to be very, very difficult. And there may well be a lot of wind noise. I'm on the personal mic, so hopefully that'll reduce it down a little bit. But we'll have to wait and see. It's also very nice to see the people of Mabel, uh, people of Sutton on Sea abiding by the dog ban on the beach. Must be 50th, 60th dog we've seen. We've only been here an hour. There's more dogs than people. Confronted somebody about not cleaning up after the dog. They had two cock spaniels. One of them decided to take a crap right by my tent. Right by where I put shelter up. Well, in front of it. No, it's under the tide line. It'd be right. So, you know what? If it were a fisherman leaving a bag of bait or something like that, even if it were newspaper, they'd have something to say, wouldn't they? Can't win, can we? Anyway, I'm going to try and put you on the rods. It's going to be a low angle, so apologies, but the camera obviously needs to be sort of out of the wind. There's going to be a lot of moving back as well. So I'll roll the intro, no setup time lapse. I get nothing but complaints when I do them, so I'm not doing them anymore. I'll speak to you in a bit. Oh, you reckon you've got a bite, do you? Oh, you're just praying to the fish gods. Right, hopefully that can still hear me. Right, two options. You can either run that back to the tent or we can try and eat as much lunch as we can so it fits in your tackle box. Second option. <laughs> Thought you might. Give it here then. Now, the target species for today, just realised I didn't say it in the intro, hopefully you can still hear me. The target species for today is rays. But as usual, when I've come fishing out fishing for rays, well, I'll tell you what, we'll have a chat about it later. But in, in short, based on the last two weekends, we've ignored the weather report for the wind because last weekend it was forecast to have wind like this and it never came so we've come out fishing anyway we were hoping that the wind would keep the sea flat to fish for rays it hasn't or it isn't so anyway i'll leave you on the rods i might have to put some music on because i've got my mic inside my jumper and i'm going to eat my lunch and that'll probably sound disgusting over the microphones You alright? Can you manage? Yeah. <coughs> oh, I oh know that'll have been a wave. Look, I'm going to leave Uncle Al. Yeah, alright, eat your lunch. I don't think I can put this on the floor.
not. Marcus reeling in for the for the fourth time in 15 minutes. So I can see 11 dogs and 13 people and dogs are currently banned on this beach. You what, what? Right, we'll start by bringing in the close in. This was a, I say it's close in, it won't be anymore. This was a three up clip down with uh, bluey and squid and single lug. I think I've got a big clump of weed. Just to be expected when it's been out as long as it has. Well, I don't think that's a fish. Oh, it didn't release. Oh, lovely. Right, so I need to put a splash down on here. All that time in the water and my rig didn't even release. It still clipped down. And annoyingly, it looks as though someone's had a go at it as well. Right, well I'll recast it as a flapper for now. 
So I'll unclip it now. Why didn't you release? Oh, you are a bit... All right, fair enough, you're a bit gritty. I'll recast it as a flapper for now. I have to bring the other one in anyway, it's washed right over now. In you go. Oh, look at this one, see. And this one is fishing with, say this one. This one is fishing with a pulley dropper with a, a 3 0 circle on with a dongle on it. So it's a dingle dangle rig on a pulley dropper. And I just cast it out for the first time with a peeler crab on it. Because I'm still using up last year's peeler crabs. But it's pretty much washed in. But it, uh, it's had a good innings. Stayed out there for quite some time. My rig is a complete ball. It's been balled up from sitting in the tide for so long. Bloody hell. Okay, start at the beginning. I'm not even sure that released either.
there, I know technically for what I'm targeting, although well, I don't know, I don't know actually. Crab isn't the best bait, I was going to say. But I mean crab will pick up anything, won't it? But I'm using them primarily because they're actually last year's peelers. Because well, let's not have a replay of last year, hopefully weather. But every time I went out to fish for smooth hounds, the wind was up, and every time I went out to fish for bass, the wind was down. So hopefully we don't have a repeat of last year. But, I mean, today at least the forecast was right, I suppose. We just chose to ignore it. Where's my elastic gone? I think it might finally be time to relent and go get my tackle box. I hate asthma. <laughs> A camouflage flounder. really at a shallow bit of the tide now. Can you manage that or do you need me to do it? You should be alright, shouldn't you? No, they're not.
Uh, have a sit down now as well. Right, well, that's the manic first hour out the way, with no fish. Let's have a quick chat, try and keep it quick. So yeah, I don't know how much of that I'll be able to leave in. That's the first hour. I only did one bait change, because at the moment the water's very shallow. Now the gent who I spoke to about coming fishing here, I don't know if he watches my videos, I know he knows me and we got on quite well. Uh, I don't know if he watches the videos. He said, come and fish over low water. I'll fish from low to high. Um, now, he does have... <laughs> Rose is just baited up. Let me know if you need any help. Um, she is trying. She really is trying. My hat, I tip my hat to her. She really does give it a good go. Now, the, sorry, the gent that told us to come here, he looked at the same sort of early midweek, early to midweek reports that we did, looked at the tide height, looked at the swell forecast, looked at the weather forecast, and he said this is where he'd come. I mean, he's fishing a match tomorrow, so he, he's out tomorrow, not today. But he said if he were going out today, this is where he'd come. And yeah, the, the, the conditions, you know, have changed slightly. Um, the, the, the wind and swell forecast meant that the, the sea should have been relatively flat and calm, but it's, it's anything but. Um, I've got a five and a six ounce lead on at the moment, which do a reasonably good job of holding. I might have to switch to sevens. But like I said, at the moment we're in the shallow water period, I don't have and actually, as you've seen this, you'll have seen my... Sorry. I didn't realise it was that low. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Sorry, somebody's just walked into my line. I didn't realise it was that low. I'll have to apologise when they come up. Um... I shall have to wind that in and change that if it's hanging that low. I didn't realise it was that low. Sorry, I didn't realise it was that low down. I didn't realise my line was that low. Um, I need to put some weight in Rosa's box. Oh, that's going to be an issue. Blast of sand straight to the face. It's windy. It's very windy, in case I haven't mentioned it. Um, yeah, and now he, he can cast. You will have seen my attempts at distance casting. I'm not even going to attempt it in these weather conditions. Um, I think I'm going to have to switch up to seven ounce lights. And once the water reaches where we are, I might have a, we might have to have a break and let it deepen up a little bit because I can't get it in these conditions as far out as I need to be to be in the deeper water. Um, so it might just be a case of, uh, of help Rosa with her fishing. I'll fish with Rosa for a little bit over um, until it deepens up a little bit. I'm going to have sand in places that I shouldn't have sand because it's blowing straight down my crack. I know you, you really wanted to know that, didn't you? Um, I'm surprised actually how well her rod's handling being out in this wind. I really am. Uh, I thought it'd be bouncing all over, but it's not. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's no great hardship. We'll have to wait that long. It deepens up very, very quickly. Once it gets back to here, it, it deepens very, very quickly. So it, it'll just be a case of 20 minutes, half an hour. Go sit in the shelter, have a breather. 
out of the wind for a little bit. I think there is fish out there. The, uh, in between the wind and the waves, you can discern knocks. Just like that. <laughs> you can discern knocks. But not takes. Nothing's taking it. Um, now my, my, my clip down rig has got size 108 bait holders on it, I think. So even my clip down rig is quite large. But whether Rosa wanted to fish or not, I was going to use at least use her rod as well. Just to fish in the margins and see what's knocking about. But I'm going to change her. Once it starts to deepen up a little bit, I'm going to change her to a barrel lead. And when we're going to fish in this crease that we're currently sat in. Um. <laughs> See if we can get her in the background. We're going to fish in this crease that we're currently sat on. <laughs> it's alright, just bring the hook out the side of the worm, it'll be fine. I'll sort it. She's having a go. She really is having a go. And today is, is going to be difficult. Today is going to be tough fishing. This wind is forecast not to get any better. I think I accidentally just tasted worm. Was it tasty? No. <laughs> I ain't Luke <Luka> today. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Got it! I don't know which one it is. Oh well, I'm going to have to reel that one in anyway. I'm going to have to reel that one in anyway. Because I think it's washed in. I think there's just a lump of weed on it. Oh! That's heavy. Yeah, I think it's just a lump of weed or a, a log or something. It's a long way out. I have to walk to it. Yeah, a big lump of weed.
Done it again. Oh, come on. Rosa, wait. Wait. Has he caught you again? Yeah. He just told me to read. Yeah, I know, but. Is she in close? Pardon? Is she in close? Of course she's in close, she's on a 10 foot rod. Yeah, silly question. No, what it is, is I'm crossing out over there because it's pulling so much. By the time it gets to her, it's pulled me in and it's catching all of her. And I'm walking out as well. You're not, know we're watching you. Nope. Right, do you reckon you can find me some big worms like the ones you just put on your hooks? I've been down some last one, but okay. Oh, look. we got a ray egg. People in the comments will have to tell us what that's from, it's hatched, but we've got either a, a smooth hound, a ray, a dogfish, egg. Release it. It's empty. Oh. It's hatched. Hatch. Yeah. Hatch. Yeah. Hatch. Yeah, it's hatched, it's gone. Is it a shark? It will have either been a shark or a ray, yeah. Um... I don't know which. Right, I need another one of me. Splashdowns. Um, Ideally, I want three good ones. Okay. Try and find one. Because I think that was the biggest one I just used. That's all right. Open your mouth. Hey, uh, here, open your mouth. I honestly thought putting 30 yards between you and Marcus would be alright. I mean yes it's pulling but you just have to compensate for that and not let it not let your rigs wash for half a mile. Uh, I'm going to have to upgrade this. I'm actually, I'm going to put a seven ounce lead on this as well. I'm 
they're both going to have to go up to seven ounces. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, heavier lead. Ah, you drunk. Let's put a seven on. How many you got me? Two. Two, that's fine. That'll do. Okay. Have a look. <laughs> Get a towel out and clean your hands then. Clip it up please, I don't want to listen to that. Yeah, we'll be on the move again soon. One needle, I'm guessing it's yours. Mine's there. Leave it in your box. Buttery smooth. Now he's walked a fair distance to cast. Buttery smooth. Didn't quite get the distance that I wanted, but I'm casting it into the wind, so it's to be expected. Right, sorry about that guys, a bit of a delay. I'm going to turn you off and I'll come back to you in a bit. Right guys, well I'm afraid, apart from some photos, if we catch any fish, that's going to be the end of the video. I don't know if it's showing up for you, but the camera just got blown over and I smashed the lens. So I'll have to order another one. These things happen. It's about, you know, it's part and parcel of it. So I'll pack the camera down. I suppose it's one less thing for me to do and I can concentrate on fishing. It is a shame, but that's the way it goes sometimes. I'll speak to you in a bit.